Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 21st of March comes to you from London. And uh, today it's all eyes on the Federal Reserve uh, and what they'll do with interest rates. But uh, for the moment the dollar is just falling back a little bit. So uh, whatever has, uh, the market's pricing in at the moment, uh, the dollar is just falling back. So uh, as often is the case with these things, it's the commentary more than the actual action that will be... Uh, the signal for the market but for the moment the dollar is still weak medium and, and long term and short term we're weakening but we're still just bullish above the cloud hitting quite strong resistance here on the point and figure chart we do have a downside target here of some three and a three point seven four percent but uh, that needs to be activated so uh, we would need new lows to do that <coughs> euro is uh, looking a little stronger but has been bearish of late just with that stronger dollar we do have downside targets for the euro dollar so uh, and it's bearish here as well M longer term of course the picture is is much better but we are just stuck in this range at the moment with euro dollar and and really that's the story of most currencies of late we're just stuck in this range the uh, if you look at the uh, yen for example we've been in this 105 115 range for about a year now and uh, we were sinking to new lows. We've got downside targets, but we've seen a little bit of resurgence in the dollar against the yen, so yen weakness there. Sterling has actually appreciated significance the dollar in the last few months, and we see just flatlining at the moment, but holding that 140 level. Um, we've got some upside targets here now, 142, 144, 144 not yet activated. But if we look at sterling against the euro, it's... Uh, done very well in the last week or so but again has been flatlining for several months really and we see that in the chart really uh, for the last year uh, sterling has just been teetering along at around this 110 115 level uh, so at the moment sterling is looking strong short term uh, but the medium and long term picture is still yet to be proven. Uh, here we see against the Swiss franc, it is actually coming out into a stronger territory, so that's quite interesting as well. Uh, and against the Australian dollar, sterling has also been making new highs, having kicked out of that uh, uh, few months of uh, range. So at the moment, short term looking pretty bullish, but a shortage of upside targets now on the short term chart. Bitcoin has uh, recovered somewhat in the last day or two uh, and we're back into bullish territory. We, yesterday we said we're back into bullish territory. A shortage of clear upside targets on the short term chart. We are just through on the long term chart through the cloud so that is a bit worrying and the medium term picture is still bearish. So it's quite a tough call on Bitcoin. This $7,500 level is pretty key and the main thing is we hold that level long term and we can rebuild from there. Looking at the uh, US stock market, uh, a lot of jitters around tech the day before yesterday, of course. Uh, we are still just bearish below the cloud on price and the lagging line just holding support, but uh, has been quite a bit of turmoil in the market. And uh, the NASDAQ, having made a new high, um, has fallen back into bearish territory. So uh, it, uh, there's a lot of fear at the moment in the markets and uh, we're seeing that playing through. <clears throat> we do have a downside target. 1.7% on the Nasdaq 100 uh, so that we just need to watch that play out and taking a look at the Dow the Dow also is still just bearish below the cloud and the Russell 2000 also um, down yesterday and just bearish below the cloud on the price but not yet on the lagging line but just struggling to break to new highs the general market there uh, the the uh, S&P future down slightly this morning um, and then the Nasdaq e-mini uh, is also just teetering along here but uh, is finding some support here on the point and figure chart but still bearish in the short term. The FTSE 100 continues to look pretty poor um, making new lows again this morning so really just starting to come through the cloud here on that longer term chart so really starting to look quite worrying making new 12 month lows uh, UK stocks just not looking like the place to be and FTSE 250 much the same picture um, bearish as well uh, the Zetra DAX the German market looking a bit stronger and recovering on the short term chart and the CAC current much the same picture just trying to recover but still below the cloud medium term uh, European markets still look worse than US markets and taking a look at the uh, yen we see here the yen uh, sorry the uh, Nikkei uh, the Japanese market just again medium term looking less good as it's come through that cloud 
Um, we saw Hang Seng just holding its bullishness, one of the better looking markets in Asia, and the Shanghai index just struggling to get back above the cloud on the medium term chart, Very f running very flat the last several weeks. Uh, so Chinese stocks just not really doing very much. The Indian market still drifting lower and this move below the cloud on the medium term chart is still a little bit worrying. So uh, the Sensex looking um, more worrying than it has done. Uh, the Aussie market is just still uh, sitting bearish below the cloud, finding some support there but uh, at the moment uh, medium term just looking less good. But there are lots of upside targets to the Aussie market. So. Uh, looking a little bit better. Brent crude uh, strengthening further this morning, um, sitting at $67.5, so that's really the strongest we've seen for a while. We're back above the cloud on the uh, price here, lagging line really finding some support there. So crude oil looking better. We've got an upside target of 6% to 71.74 and quite a lot of medium upside targets. So Brent looking actually pretty uh, bullish indeed. And WCI, of course, similarly looking bullish at the moment. US Nat gas sitting at $2.68, just struggling in this uh, area uh, and has been for some time. Taking a look at gold, we see gold is just coming through the cloud again this morning, just recovering. We do have these downside targets hanging over us. Uh, this will be interesting to see the move off the uh, Federal Reserve announcement today. There's a lot of news about inflation. We may see gold starting to move. And if we take a look at silver, uh, silver not quite coming through the cloud as strongly as gold and in a bit of a downtrend here um, and with quite a few medium-term targets hanging over it. Uh, US... 10-year bond yields, of course, awaiting today's news. Uh, this will be the interesting thing. Can we see these kick higher? We've got an upside target of 297 um, and 307 not yet activated uh, and 305 on the long-term chart activated. So this 3% level for US 10-year yields uh, looking like it's going to happen at some time soon. Uh, Apple shares, uh, just looking at some of the tech majors, Apple shares just drifting lower. Amazon, uh, which has had an amazing run of late, uh, also have just suffered a little bit, but holding on to their bullish uh, trend better than anything else and just looks amazing still on the chart. Uh, Alphabet, uh, looking at uh, uh, Google, we're just coming a bit bearish here and just struggling to hold on. Of course, Facebook has been the real story uh, over the last few days and uh, we're seeing here just hitting lower here so um, it looking quite worrying now for Facebook new downside targets what's interesting is we haven't yet deactivated some of the long-term upside targets but this one had a target that's coming off the chart now so once we see start to see negations of targets that's starting to be bearish and and we'll have a new downside target on this move as well so uh, Facebook is certainly looking bearish medium and short term the long term is, is support is way lower here at about 144 which is really where these targets are we've got one here at 142 144 on the short term chart so we could go all the way to that level and still be holding the long term trend which is uh, uh, quite hard to uh, picture that that is still a good thing but that's how much Facebook has run away from its cloud so it could come all the way back to those sorts of levels uh, and Microsoft um, not really as affected by uh, the tech fallout, but we are just seeing here that we are just turning a little bit bearish. We're finding some sort, some support, but the uptrend is looking very much intact in the medium term chart here looking good. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.